The next part of the motif I'm going to tackle is the, is the scroll. You need to make two of these. In my first attempt I made a mistake. It's quite an awkward pattern to follow in its written form. So I ended up making scrolls with three little loops instead of two. So I'm leaving this in my work because I don't think it'll do much harm. I've got three motifs in my work and one of them's going to have three little loops, the others two are going to have two. So to start the motif I'm going to need some cord. It doesn't need to be a very very long length, you need to be able to go about twice round. And I'm using number 60 thread with a 0.75mm hook. The first thing we're going to do is make a 104 single crochet over the cord. If you're not used to crocheting over cord, you can hang on to the tail. It might make it easier to work at first. So I took the tail in my hand and it gives me a little bit of a grip to work over the cord. If you've got more experience, you can just crochet the tail in. So once you've done the 104 single crochet over the cord, make sure the stitches lie flat and have a nice shape to them. And one little trick I do every time I need to make a scroll, I always make a one chain at the spot where the ring needs to be attached. I always check the pattern in advance so I've got an idea of where it is. We're going to make the ring by stitching into the back of the 30th stitch from the hook. So over the cord again, make a slip stitch over the 30th stitch at the back. Make sure the ring has a nice shape. Once you've finished the second row of loops, turn the work round and pick the cord up again and over the cord and into each loop make six single crochet. Do this for eight loops. Remove the hook and stick the hook through the sixth stitch from the chain. Pull through the loop. Turn the work.
So once you finish the scroll, you can cut the cord and then just make a little tuck with your tail. Just give it a good, good tight stitch and then it's done. To make the opposing scroll, instead of starting here, you'd be starting here. So you would crochet 30, single crochet over cord and then attach the ring and then do the rest. So you'd be working after that in reverse. 